Hey guys, Nathan here. So today we are going to do something a little bit creative. It's actually for one of my assignments. I'll show you the end result if it fails so you get an idea of what we're going to be trying to do today. What it is called is the is a camera obscura. It's a basically whatever is outside of a window, you can project it to the opposite facing wall upside down. I did learn how to do this in my photography class and how it actually works but I don't really remember how it actually works but I know that it does because I went inside of one. Yeah, so we're gonna try and re... or not redo, do that, try and make that um, with a bunch of cardboard and some tape. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna cover up my window. It's not going to be very pretty what it's going to project. Oh well, but still going to try it and see if I can manage to do it. First things first, got to put up this and then get some cardboard and start cutting and sizing it and seeing if I can make it fit and work. Otherwise this will be a fail. <laughs> so it's a bit dark in here so it might be a bit grainy because I've bumped up the ISO. But I'm going to chop up these boxes over here and hopefully there's enough otherwise that'd be a truck I think um, otherwise we're a bit screwed so hopefully this is enough cardboard um, so I'm gonna get cutting I am petrified I love spiders and there's dead long legs this knife is not very sharp Okay, so this should do the bulk of it. When you think that you have acquired enough cardboard for said window, get to probably measuring the window before you start cutting up the cardboard because that would be a big dumb, which I was about to do. <laughs> um, so give it a measure before you go ahead and do that. Um, yeah. I really need to sharpen my knife, it's like, look how, I was like cutting off like edges to make it like an actual square, um, this is, it's like so dull, it is ridiculous. <laughs> so I've cut the biggest piece, so that'll take up the majority of the window, so I'm just going to try and stick that up, it turns out not to be very flat though, so it's got like a little bit of a bow, uh, so it might be a bit difficult to tape, I've got this tape, because I don't want to it's sticking off. I don't want to damage the paint, so and I need it kind of wide so that I can stick onto the stuff and end onto the cardboard. So I'm going to try and put this up. Okay, so I'm going to put up. Oops. Yes, good job, mate. I'm gonna have to just... Oh. Yep, that, that, that's exactly what I thought would happen. I think what I might do instead is I'll put the tape on the cardboard first and then... and then push it onto the thing. So basically in this you need to put a hole, but I probably should have done that before I had put it up because it's a bit fragile at the moment, so that won't be easy to do, uh, especially with my really dull knife. So I'm gonna 
attempt to do that because that was smart. I'm going to get another piece of cardboard to put over this with the actual hole that I want to use. This is just a hole for, yeah, I think you understand what I mean. So I finally finished it. So basically what you have to do is close off any light from the window except for one hole. Maybe about the width of a pen you can adjust it according to what works best for you. And then also make the rest of the room as dark as you can. So in order to... First off I made a mistake and um, put the original hole that I did like right where there's a pole from the window, so that didn't really work. So I moved it over there. Basically, the different sizing of the hole, um, the smaller it is, the more detail you're gonna get, and the bigger it is, the more light's gonna be let in, so the brighter your image will be. So it's up to you to kind of figure out a sweet spot. Um, I'm doing this hole for now. Um, it's a bit of a cloudy day today though, so that also makes it a bit more difficult but I'm gonna figure out a way to show you the results it'll probably just be photos because Canon cameras just don't do very well with a high ISO because that's the only way that you could really do it if you've got any suggestions for shit that you want me to do leave them wow I shouldn't probably say that <laughs> if you've got any suggestions for things that you want me to do or talk about leave them in the comments and other than that there's nothing else really going on with this video so I'll see you later